Hello, good morning. And this is the continuation of the third lecture on thanatology. And in this lecture, I will be discussing sudden death. As the name is indicating that the death which is happening suddenly. That is the symptoms are a heading so quickly, so suddenly that the cause of death cannot be ascertained with certainty. And that arises a suspicion of foul play. So I will be discussing what are various causes of sudden death and how we can differentiate from unnatural phenomena in the natural. So take care. I'm Dr. Javed Iqbal Khokra, Professor of Forensic Medicine and Toxicology. And as we are discussing thanatology, and this is the continuation of the lecture number three. And in this lecture, I will be discussing the sudden death. By definition, it is sudden and unexpected death. The symptoms follow so suddenly and rapidly that from the onset of the symptom till death occurs, the cause of death cannot be certified with certainty and confidence by the registered medical practitioner. So that's why this is called sudden death that death occurring suddenly. And sudden death occurs so suddenly that it arises a suspicion of foul play. And because this type of death may disguise a secret homicide also. So all the sudden death should be subjected to autopsy or post-mortem examination as the determination of exact cause of death is extremely important from medical point of view, as well as from the legal point of view. Now talking about the types of sudden death. The sudden death may be, cause may be natural or unnatural. And natural causes, they are usually due to disease of certain systems within the body. And unnatural, they may be either accidental or criminal, which may be homicide, or suicide or poisoning. Then the causes of natural sudden death. The natural causes of sudden death can be various. That in various systems of the body may be suffering from disease like cardiovascular system, central nervous system, respiratory system, gastrointestinal and genital system. Statistically, it is seen that 80 to 90% of sudden deaths are usually because of natural diseases. And these are grouped according to the vital systems of the body. So system-wise investigation is out in locating the cause of death in cases of sudden deaths. In cardiovascular system, ischemic heart disease is by far the most common single cause of death in sudden deaths. Then atheromatous coronary stenosis is responsible to cause death in such cases and most common affected areas are usually anterior descending branch of the left coronary artery, proximal part of the right coronary artery, the circumflex branch of the left coronary artery and short main trunk of the left coronary artery. So these are the main vessels which are involved. Then hemorrhagic phenomena from some vessel, the outcome of hemorrhage usually depends upon the size of the vessel, that is small size or the large size, and then the ability of the area involved to tolerate or to accumulate the blood, as in certain cases, the accumulation of few milliliters of blood can prove fatal. For example, the pericardial sac in the cranial cavity, a small amount of blood will put enormous pressure on the heart and the brain. So the area involved and the amount of bleeding also will be determined the outcome. Then the extent and speed of the hemorrhage. All these factors help in determination of the fatal period. Then inhibition through abnormal stimulation of the regulatory nerve, like vocal inhibition, 
in death due to vocal inhibition, the onset is extremely sudden because of the excitation or stimulation of the trigger zones. And there is no positive finding seen at autopsy. Only the history and the circumstantial evidence may suggest the cause of death. Now the causes in the nervous system. Next to cardiovascular system, the leading cause of sudden death is in the central nervous system. 17% of the cases of sudden death are due to cause in the central nervous system. Like hemorrhage in the brain, extradural, subdural, subarachnoid, or intracellular. Then in the respiratory system, the allergic manifestations of glottis, diphtheria, or asthma, or other conditions which can cause the allergic manifestation, and tumors of the larynx and the bronchia, and pulmonary embolism, fat or ear embolism after surgery can be the cause of that. In gastrointestinal system, the rupture of the gastric or the duodenal ulcers, tumors of the stomach and colon, and fulminating viral hepatitis. In causes in the genital system, in males, the trauma to the testes, and in females, the rupture of extra uterine gestation, that is ectopic pregnancy, and the rupture of the uterine vessel. I am just naming the systems and uh, quoting few examples. The cause can be many, but just uh, I am quoting few examples of few diseases. Then causes of unnatural sudden deaths, they can be accidental, homicidal, accidental can be road traffic accident or any accidental injury, and the homicidal can be the killing by another person with traumatic injury, like stare, laceration, incised, and the firearms. Then suicidal injuries, they can be uh, firearm injury and poisoning like alcohol and another poison can be these. Men that can be suicidal or homicidal. So the summary of today's lecture, in this lecture, we will discuss the sudden death and the causes of sudden death. And we know that we have learned that they are natural or unnatural. And the natural, they are usually the causes in the systems of the body. And unnatural, they are either the homicide, suicide, accident, and poisoning. Thank you very much. This is all about the uh, next section of the lecture number three. And if you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. And my channel name is Dr. Javi. Thank you very much.